This is one of my favorite tools. It's a reversible countersink and it comes in a set with a couple different sizes. One way to measure a keyway is with an adjustable parallel. As you can see here, I place it in the keyway being careful to keep it slightly off the floor in case there's any sort of radius in the corners. Once you have your parallel set, you can use your micrometer to take a reading and with some practice you can get pretty good results. One neat way to use a ball bearing is to measure a keyway depth as seen here on this large diameter turned part. A depth micrometer can also be used, but if the corner chamfers are anything outside of what you calculated for, you can get a false reading. There are many ways to measure keyway depth. Ultimately, you gotta use what works for you. If this part was smaller in diameter, you could simply use a micrometer and measure from the floor of the keyway to the opposing side. You can also mount the deburring tool through the side like you see here. This chuck stop set has parallels that can space your part away from the face as far as required. Here's an old school trick. We're using a washer on the drill to tell when it is perpendicular to the material as well as level.